Hey Budgeters and Savers, Chris Budgets here with another video for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, hello, and thank you for coming through. If you guys are new, this is your very first video. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a mom, worker bee, and I'm just out here, you guys, trying to be debt-free one day. I'm just out here working and twerking so we can get our goals met, so we can get things done. And I just wanted to share with you guys that no matter what, y'all, if you're a small channel, a larger channel, or you're just a viewer, you're just watching, you guys are all welcome here. Um, no judgment. This is the no judgment zone, okay? Because I'm rooting for you. I'm not a hater. So this video is going to be about my cash stuffing, you guys. And this is my second paycheck of February. And thank you so much for all the feedback and comments and everything you guys gave me from my past two videos. I appreciate you guys. I definitely feel like now that I am back on track um, because I did just get paid and you know shout out to everyone who gets paid on wednesdays why do we get paid on wednesdays mm, i don't know but i appreciate whoever presses the button so i can get my money faster and thank you so much i did decide to keep my cash tray for now so thank you so much i am very proud of my cash tray um i i I do love my cash tray and for anybody who is wondering i did get a few questions about it so this is just an acrylic tray or a plastic tray or whatever from michael's it was 99 cents and it's the same uh it's the checkout area where they have like all the you know little knickknacks and the cheap little you know things and that's where i got it from i saw it and i was like oh yeah i need that it's the same place where i got my heart container for my change and it was 99 cents, you can't beat it. I also have a, I think I got a square, like a octagonal type of vibe one too. Um, so I do have another one of these that I wanna do something with, probably for my jewelry, for my vanity or something. So I'm really proud of that. And then of course the paint, I already had the paint. That was my daughter's paint, okay? That was her acrylic paint that we used. We have a lot of paint at home because she's um, an artist, okay? And she, she's an artist, if you will, you know, Picasso, but with very like, you know, the vibes. The vibes are there. Um, you guys know, you guys have watched her in my previous saving challenges videos. She's an artist, okay? Can't tell her, can't tell her nothing else. So let me go ahead and grab my workbook so I can share with you guys my budget breakdown. So you guys know I have been using my um, Elevated Life workbook duo workbook workbook duo however you guys want to say it and i did get paid on the 16th which is a wednesday and i got paid 870 dollars so of that 870 you guys know that's a little bit lower than what i usually get paid because you guys because why because my job right now my department is no longer doing overtime so i have not been working overtime like i usually do i usually work 30 to 40 hours of overtime a pay period so this for me is very low and i did want to point out real quick that yes i did do my nails thank you so much for wondering yes i did thank you so much and i'm very proud of them i don't know how long they're gonna last okay i'm not erica you know i'm not a professional okay i'm not erica like I don't know if you guys you guys have to subscribe to her Erica from black and blue she does her name y'all she's a vibe but 870 is what I got paid no more overtime so of that 870 I'm paying a Verizon $190 that's for three lines and yes I know Verizon is expensive but I have been with Verizon for literally so long literally maybe like I don't know uh 15 years or something like that i don't know they always thank me for my um you know for my business and etc cetera, etc cetera. but that's for three lines unlimited everything with my mobile hotspot blah 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 and then i have my groceries right over here my cash envelopes i mean and you guys know it's the same categories every time and the same amount every time four hundred dollars so groceries 200 food 100 gas 30 dollars and for gas 30 dollars that is just for one car that's just for my car and i have been working ho from home for the past like two months i guess yeah around two months pretty much and that's just for me and i will be going back into the office on tuesday i think 
Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to check when I'm going back, but I'm gonna be going back to the office on Tuesday and I will be working two days a week in the office commuting and then my spending account is 50, miscellaneous 20. So that brings us to $400 in our cash envelopes and then our remaining is 280. And from there, you guys, that is all I got. The rest is blank. And let me tell you why it's blank. It is blank and empty because because you guys know in my previous cash stuffing i had some rollover money from my cash envelopes and i used some of it for my savings challenges and then the rest i put into a medical sinking fund i do not have a medical sinking fund envelope yet but i did order one and it's on the way so i do have um bills coming up medical bills coming up our co-pays etc etc so don't forget you guys if you guys have insurance um whatever you guys you know whatever medical plan you have now is the time take advantage of your preventive preventative care exams get your teeth cleanings done all the things you guys take advantage they take the money out of your paycheck anyway you might as well use it so that is what we're doing right now and then you know, of course, after all of our initial copays and stuff, we're hoping that our medical bills get a little bit lower. But for now, I'm being proactive. Um, so I want to make sure we're able to pay those bills, um, you know, on time and everything like that. So that is what I have going on for this. And as I mentioned with my overtime, I, again, you guys, no more overtime. When they had announced that, I was like, um, are they talking to me? Because I don't think that they are, but they were, they were talking to me. They literally were like, yeah, Chris, no more overtime, okay? I was like, huh? But it's fine, it's fine, you guys. We are just gonna go back to hustling what we do, okay? And I knew the overtime was temporary. It's not a permanent thing. And you guys, I do not have any change. No change. No change again. So because of that, I'm changing a few little things, just, you know, a few little things, teeny tiny. And I do have some rollover. And what I also did was, you guys can see I have a Kroger gift card in my groceries envelope and that is because I am forgetful. I am putting this in my groceries envelope for no other reason than I am forgetful. So I have been trying to use this for a while now. As you can see, I got it for Christmas. I got it during Christmas time and I just have been forgetting it at home, in my purse, in the car, anywhere but my wallet. So that is why I have decided to put my gift cards in the corresponding envelope. So as you can see, I have some leftover here in groceries. I have $40, okay, $40 in groceries. And what I decided to do, because I do have a little bit of leftover, so $40 in groceries, $10 in sinking funds, or $10 in food, I mean. And then of course, a gift card. And let me show you guys my husband's gift card. Hmm. hmm, the wheels are turning. Well, I would love to go to Olive Garden or Yard House or Bahama Breeze. Cheddar's is a little far. I I'm ready. I'm trying to go to all these places. But you guys, I'm getting distracted by the food because I'm hungry. So what I decided to do is if I do have rollover, I'm going to treat it like how I treat my gas envelope is I'm going to leave the rollover in the envelope. And that's just gonna serve as a cushion for when the paychecks are smaller than usual. And that'll give me some, you know, some sense of, um, you know, some sense of peace, some sense of safety net, just in case. So that is what I have there. So those are my two small changes. Again, nothing crazy. So just like I'm doing with my gas envelope, I have so much money in my gas envelope because gas is so expensive. So 100, 120, 40, 50, 60. $60, $160 in gas, and I do need to get gas. I am down to one line, which is like, maybe I'll make it to the gas station. And I know so many of you guys have also agreed with me that gas went up a ton, crazy, crazy, crazy. Gas was 369, 379, um, maybe like a few days ago, my husband said. So, and I know you guys, some of you guys have told me gas was 500. 
whole doll hairs okay five doll hairs i'm i'm sorry i'm good you know I'm, I'm not really like a fitness person i don't really work out that's not really um something for me but for five dollars a gallon i'll walk bike yeah no and then of course you guys you guys know i went to the target spending miscellaneous empty so that is what we have you guys that is what I'm going to be doing. I feel like because my paychecks are going to be on the smaller side, on the lower side as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and make these adjustments. And then of course, moving forward, if anything changes, I can always make more adjustments. But I think this will be a good step to make sure that we have what we need. And then of course, I can always make budget cuts. Duh. So let me go ahead and get our money here so today we out of my 870 dollars paycheck we are stuffing 400 dollars into our cash envelopes 190 going to verizon and then of course the rest is going to go into my medical sinking fund which is to be delivered if you will so 400 one two mm, what did i say two no 200 to groceries one two three four five one two three four five so two hundred dollars to groceries so that puts us at 220 for groceries plus a gift card and i'm okay with that food is gonna get one hundred dollars one two three four five So now I have a hundred and five dollars in here plus a gift card and I'm dying to use this gift card. Gas is going to get thirty dollars, Ooh, which I can tell you right now I don't have change. Why do I do this to myself? All right. I'm gonna make change real quick okay so I took out a 20 I'm putting back a 20 okay y'all saw that so gas is gonna get $30 and shout out to Jojo on um she doesn't have any videos I don't think but she does have a channel and a Instagram but Jojo thank you so much for um telling me that I could have made change with my gas envelope because let me tell you I would have never figured it out never never in a million years would I realized I could have made change with my gas envelope because I'm slow so thank you for telling me that and sharing that I appreciate you um you guys need to follow her she's she does a lot of reposts too you guys um so yeah Jojo DFC journey follow her so $30 is going into my gas envelope and I don't even know how much I have now let's see because you know I like it to face a certain way I like I like the 20s to be with their family you know so I have 100 120 40 60 80 90 100 so 200 dollars in my gas envelope miscellaneous is gonna get 20 and now i'm missing a 10 you know what <sighs> what did i do you guys yeah <laughs> So $30 is going into my gas envelope. What did I do wrong? You know what? I don't know, but my husband will figure it out because I'm tired. I'm tired, you guys. The time is... It is... I don't know if you guys can see that. 11.15... And I'm trying to go to bed early because tomorrow is Friday. I'm trying to get work done. I'm just, I'm really, really trying, you guys. So for spending for now, I'm going to put the $40. And I'm just going to hope that whoever in the comment section or my husband, if he pays enough attention, will figure out 
what I where I went wrong because I don't even know okay I do not even know so that is what we have going on there and honestly a small mistake like that well it's ten dollars so it's a it's a small mistake compared to like miscounting a 20 or a 50 or something like that but a small mistake like that used to drive me crazy and i used to beat myself up you know trying to figure out like where did i go wrong like how come i'm in so much debt like where did my money go like you know it, it like came and gone so fast and honestly i especially after reading kamiko's book um you know my money my way I really thought about it and I was like, you know, sometimes it really isn't about the money. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Sometimes it's just about how you think and your mentality. So I know you guys wanted a book review. I will be doing a book review and something super special in my next video that I want to share with you guys. Um, so that will be in my next video. But I also, before I forget, I wanted to do my shout outs. I don't know if you guys can see here. And yes, my heart was holding up, was holding up my little tray, but I have um, my little names over here, you guys. And let me just move that over here. And this one is The Budgeting Dad. The Budgeting Dad. So this is a new channel, you guys. I actually just discovered this channel. Um, they commented on my shout out post and then I reposted one of their videos um, a few days ago, I think, maybe, or maybe it was today, or maybe it was last night, who knows. Um, but The Budgeting Dad, don't forget to check them out. New channel, and it's a guy, so you guys know we don't have a lot of male budgeters in our community that I know of, so this is great. There's one. Um, the other ones, you guys know um, Kenny Budgets, and you know we have debt free dad uh and then i have one more and let me see uh hold on hold on let me see here we go 40 and broke you guys i don't know why i choose these little tiny pieces of paper but 40 and broke um that's leroy not leroy leroy okay 40 and broke he has an amazing story he's super fun he's super real very genuine um i love that his family supports him in his journey you know josie i love his daughter like there's so much fun over there he's so real he keeps it 100 so you know if you guys love stuff like that you guys love being genuine he's on his journey to become a millionaire however way he's getting there you guys he's doing a lot of investing he does investing he's very investing heavy um so if you're into investing and you know stuff like that like the stock markets and um trading and stuff like that check out Leroy and his channel check out what he's doing how he's doing it and then we have 40 plus life Oops. 40 plus life. I don't know. And this is Veronica's channel. And I watched some of her videos. She, I don't watch all of her videos. She has a lot of videos, you guys. And there's no way that I can watch everyone's video, all of them. But I was watching her videos the other day. And she just posted a video, maybe, you know, I don't even know when she posted it. But um, it was a kind of like an invest it invest with me so you guys check her out she does she does a lot of videos not just investing you know budgeting um check-ins um you know she does challenges of course and not just saving challenges she also does like investing challenges she is doing uh, mommy traders uh Shalise's investing challenge and then she also does cool stuff like super fun stuff that i like um because i'm a mom and i got nothing else to do but watch grocery hauls you guys i love grocery hauls i don't know why i just i do love grocery hauls and stuff like that so that's probably why i love channels like that unique life elba you guys be sure to subscribe to elba i will 
have because there's not a lot of people in my shout outs today well not as many as there was the other day i'm gonna link their channel down below and i'm gonna try to tag them i believe if you have a certain amount of subscribers it will actually let me tag you but if you have a smaller amount um it won't let me tag you so you won't get the notification but i will have your channel linked anyway so you guys she has so much fun on her channel she has savings challenges she does giveaways she just had a giveaway you guys so don't sleep on the smaller channels you guys don't sleep because i was a smaller channel too and i still think i'm a smaller channel so don't sleep you guys don't sleep on us okay we're out here we're budgeting we're being accountable we're saving we're investing we hustling okay and then of course mommy trader and I'm sh shouting Mommy Trader out because I know a lot of us are um, budget budget focused, uh, paying off our debt, saving up for things, saving challenge focused. Um, don't forget, Mommy Trader has um, a new investing workbook out there, I believe, a new investing book. So be sure to check her out. Check out her website. Check out her channel. I mean, she just posted a video that I was watching that really hit home. So you guys... It doesn't matter like what stage of your life you're in, you can invest today. So look, if there's anything I learned from Shalice, it is that you can invest today. So my last one and the here we go. The struggle, you guys. So my last one is Erica from Black and Blue. She has one of my favorite channels right now. And as you can see why, because, well, first, go subscribe to her. So if you don't know Erica from Black and Blue, she, I mean, her channel is so much fun, you guys. She has super fun envelopes. I love her energy. I love her vibe. I feel like if she was living in my neighborhood, like we would be the vibe, you know? Now, I'm telling you, you guys, she does like nails, which is, you know, I love my nails right now because um, I've been watching Euphoria, okay? Don't at me. But she does her nails on her videos and she budgets and she's so much fun. She does so much stuff on her channel and I really appreciate her because she's very genuine and you guys, you guys just have to subscribe and watch her videos and i love her cash envelopes and you guys i don't know what else to say but erica is just so much fun i really do enjoy watching her videos it's just like you know she's like my girlfriend you know we're friends um but i've never met her but that's how it feels so shout out to you erica and also i love your intro you guys have to listen to her intro okay that's all i have to say don't forget to listen to her intro and i am gonna be doing in my next video for my check-in i'm gonna be doing my check-in my savings challenges and then of course i will be sharing my review um on kamiko's book my money my way and then if you guys um watch my next video i'm going to be continuing my shout outs so make sure if you have gotten this far to the video um comment something hmm comment a money bag down below and i will give you a shout out in my next video and make sure you are subscribed you guys make sure you are subscribed to my channel make sure that notification bell is turned off and i have a really amazing surprise in my next video and i can't wait to share and i haven't been able to share the past few months um maybe, but next video is when i'm going to be sharing what i have been up to so i'm excited to share it with you guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.